I know how to say your daddy shitty is red, but <laughs> look at the shot lane. That damn thing whistling Dixie, son. Woo! They might blow up. What's that whistle? <laughs> ah, dang, huh? <laughs> We're gonna get this damn roof clean if it kills us. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, is that that hole? I'd send that back. Damn, that's mean. Not even a year old. Like a couple months old, it started doing that. Three months old. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, right? Tell them where you got it from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just come down here to the power line store. Hey, you just come real good. We're going to warranty anything. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That works pretty good, huh? <laughs> He said duct tape will fix it. Uh -huh. He said duct tape will fix it. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy. Here we are at the homestead in Alabama. My brother got one of these damn rigs right here. Can't even get a warranty on the damn thing. Worked for a year. See, this is why, this is why I use 12 volt. Y'all seeing it, all right? And he's about to go 12 volt too. A lot less elaborate, uh, a lot less, uh, a lot less parts to go bad. And when they do go bad, it's cheaper to fix. This is why, uh, look at all that SH, son. Jeez, you think we're breaking bad over here. What's up, guys? Hey, y'all, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like if you're here. Give me a shout out. Who's on the uh, on the live here today? We're checking out my brother's rigs. Nothing crazy, nothing elaborate. Actually, it is kind of elaborate. <laughs> it's a constant dance with this air system. And, uh... There's gonna be a time when I'm gonna get him. Hey, what up, Mark? What up, Alan? And uh, I'm trying to get him to go straight 12 volt. I'm about to grow a few handlebars here, just halfway, just enough. And uh, Video huh? Video oh yeah. <laughs> How are we gonna fix it? it? Let's see, let's see if this tape works. Hey, you ain't gonna keep a parker down, son. Hey, we're gonna come clean up. We can come get this money. We're gonna get this money. It might be whistling Dixie, but we're gonna get this money. <laughs> what it do, Kyle? What's up? What's up, brother? You know? From far away, this rig looks better than mine. Oh, that's better. Go and keep taping it. Keep taping it. That sounds better, it's not as bad. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. Look, what up, Marquise? You know, some of this stuff, dude. What up, Jamie? What up, guys? Some of this stuff, man, you can get all caught up in trying to make this thing difficult. And truth be told, if you're getting in the game, 
you're gonna uh now steve there's an actual crack in the actual seam of the pump so that's why it's whistling uh don't really know why there's a crack in it kind of janky from the start you know i love big league chew brother um <laughs> it didn't even come with the these uh it's supposed to come with some bands and when he bought it it only came with some damn tie down wrap around it i'll tell you if i spend ten thousand dollars on a piece of equipment and uh that's what it looks like and uh <laughs> and that's what it performs like a year later me and old boy gonna have a talk you know that's a problem and it you know it's just giving him problems since the beginning this is why it does dude it sounds like a damn crying dog but uh that's why i don't like that's why i don't like them is because they're all difficult and shit and i can shoot at least 30 feet with my 12 volt you see and he's gonna go 12 volt he just don't know it yet i hope all y'all had a great christmas hope your family's well i hope everybody's healthy it is too much to mess with brother what's up dude but I've been riding around on the side by side all day long, smoking cigars, planning out 2020. Some of the goals that I have uh, for my pressure washing business. I hope that you guys are planning out 2020 and what you're wanting to do. Um, there it is, gonna kick out for me. Um, 2020 is gonna be a, a big year. P, what you gonna do for 2020, dog? You gonna expand, ain't you? You ain't? I got two trucks. Two trucks. Two dudes. And There you go. And what was this big barge of a air compressor? You know, you ought to use that. Yeah. <laughs> Roof clean. <laughs> it look like we ought to have a dirt track car back here with all this junk laying around. I need an old, old laid up late model. That's what I need. I need a late model on blocks to cap this whole look off. <laughs> hey, it's race day, baby. It's race day. I got to adjust a caster and camber on that daggum air compressor right there. Um, what up, what up? <laughs> No, you guys are right. Yeah, so so 2020, I'm going to keep my business exactly the same size. Pierce talked about it. He's got two guys, two trucks. He's got more trucks than me. How many you got now? Four? Five? Two 7.3s? Yeah, hey, how much you want for them 7.3s? You made a, you made a decision on that? Asking 8,700. 8,700? A piece. All offers are welcome. You heard it here. All Two 7.3s he got. You won't offend me, but I might offend you. <laughs> don't offend me, and don't shoot yourself in the foot. When it comes. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I'm going to keep my business uh, pretty much exactly the same size. I'm not investing any more in my marketing because... No, Marcus, I got his phone call. Marcus, hey, on that 7.3, you wanting to buy it? He got your phone call. He's gonna call you back. Um, so he's uh, so I'm gonna keep mine the same size, and uh, I might focus a little bit more on remarketing, retargeting. You know, obviously a lot to my older customers that I've already serviced, hundreds of them at this point. Um, and my SEO is just gonna drive the rest of the show for this year and uh probably next year as well now look this formula is not for you guys what up emmanuel get get on it brother 
Kissimmee, Florida. It's a great area to do it. Great area. Y'all don't even have a winter down there, so it's ideal. Oh, it's an old train. <laughs> 12 volts. <laughs> he goes, is that a is that an air system or a, a train system? <laughs> But yeah, you know, once you once you get your ranking solidified well enough, the beauty of it is is that the majority of guys in this industry are never even going to do that shit, okay? They're not. So they don't know the first thing about doing that, and they're never going to learn. This is a good thing if you're willing to, okay? What's up, Ominous? Hell yeah, brother. What's up, James? What's up, Emmanuel? Um... They're never going to do any of this, any of the organic rankings. A lot of guys, they focus completely on their flyers, their outreach, what I like to call uh, shoe leather marketing, and that you got to keep replenishing it. The good thing is, is now <clears throat> I'm ranking in all the areas that I want to rank for. That's only going to be uh, more solidified coming this year, and... Um, I've got some national stuff that's uh, currently ranking. What up, Curtis? To where it's driving the authority of my website up. And I'm getting a ton of users. What up, Raymond? Uh, coming from just articles that I've, I've published and that I've written. And um, I'm going to open that up to some of you guys. If you're wanting to... Uh... What's up, Curtis? Hell yeah, brother. I'm glad you're here. Um, give this video a thumbs up help it uh it helps out the channel helps out the algorithm um if you're liking the content that we putting that out thank you brother um columbia south carolina dude i've I played a lot of shows in uh south carolina greenville newberry oh newberry opry house open for travis tritt when was that that was like 2013 damn you know bo you know um, but you'll notice, man, in some of like our business, especially pressure washing, um, <clears throat> uh, the truth is, is a lot of guys are never going to invest in that kind of thing. Unlike landscaping, um, HVAC, they got big money, dude. A lot of these cats going out on HVAC, you know, they're doing a whole entire school and they're getting, you know, I don't know, $500,000 to, to, uh, <laughs> That's funny. Greenville. I heard that, brother. Good. Good. Good money out that way. Um, this camera, Raymond, is an iPhone camera. This is an iPhone. Okay? And uh, so back to what I was saying. Guys are never going to invest in that in our industry, okay? Because it's such a Wild West kind of industry. You look at the kind of rig we're rigging up right now, dude. All right. So this is some Wild West shit. All right. Don't think I don't know. It ain't redneck. All right. <clears throat> but it's not ideal. But a lot of guys are going to strap this stuff up. They're going to go do a couple roofs. They're going to keep, you know, marketing at church. They're going to keep marketing, you know, through word of mouth. And those things are good. Those things can help. But they do require you to continually maintain them. They require you to uh, continually show up. Okay. And uh, I don't like things that are set uh, based on my own efforts. I like things that work, whether I'm not there. And, uh, you know, if you really want to get deep with it, after the first year that you're in business, you can start investing in an autoresponder. I was an Infusionsoft partner for a whole year. I became a partner with the company just so I could learn the autoresponding email software front to back where I could basically track any movements that anybody made on any emails that I sent them. So it wasn't necessarily the uh, ideal software for this type of business. I think it needs a much more robust call tracking business, like people who are doing outreach for companies and you got whole call centers and you're tracking people's every movement. What up, Rusty? You know. You headed out? All right. Yeah, she's full ready to go, boy. Come on, come on, run. <laughs> um, but it is good if you're wanting to get real nerdy about it. 
and uh, and keep people updated. One thing you want to make sure that you're doing with your customers is that you're not constantly hitting them up about your service because they will report your shit 